Hey, it's Josh, and I'm at the 2016 Vancouver Pride Legacy Awards, and we're going to find out how much we and you know about LGBT trivia. So I am here with Mr. Gay Canada. Hello. So Derek, why are you Mr. Gay Canada? Well, I believe that I was selected because uh, I'm somebody who's kind of active in our in our local queer community in Vancouver, and because um, I <laughs> I know it's this is going to be funny because I'm going to struggle to like perform this on the camera, but because I'm reasonably articulate, I would say, after all that. <laughs> and you got a few muscles too. That probably doesn't hurt. I've been to the gym once or twice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a list of questions, and I'm going to try not to look at the answers, and we're going to see how much we know. And no pressure, but I might have to report you if you don't get any of these right. This is a lot of pressure, I feel. The earliest known references to same-sex love between women, written between 625 and 570 BC, are attributed to whom? This is a very easy question to start off with. Oh my god. I feel like it may have something to do with the myth of Lesbos, the island, which was a Greek myth. I'm, I'm, so I'm just going to say it was someone Greek. I would have no idea myself. I'm not really up on my lesbian trivia, I'll be honest. The answer is Sappho. Oh my god, I knew Sappho. that. I should have known that. No, I actually should have known that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah because like, have. like you know, the word sapphic often refers to lesbians. I should have known that. I have feminist friends who are going to kill me. You can redeem yourself on the next question. Okay. What is a Boston marriage? <laughs> that sounds like a kinky move. I think it's a, a marriage that takes place in Boston. The name given to a romantic relationship between women, possibly but not necessarily lesbian, in the 1800s. I guess it's not a legal marriage then if it happened in the 1880s. No. What lesbian feminist novel was named after a nickname for the author's vagina? Orlando? Lesbian feminist Can novel. Can you imagine naming your vagina Orlando? <laughs> I can't actually. <laughs> I don't think I know any lesbian feminist novels. It's a Jane Eyre. <laughs> it's not a lesbian novel. <laughs> Monologue. The Vagina Monologue's a novel. She named your Vagina Monologue. Yeah. yeah. Ruby Fruit Jungle by Rita Mae Obviously. Brown. Obviously. I mean, everyone knows that. Everyone knows about Ruby oh. Fruit Jungle. Okay, we're not doing too well here. This is another lesbian one, so this is really L trivia at the moment. <laughs> what is lesbian bed death? A phenomenon that uh, occurred around the time of the Black Plague. A term invented by sex researcher Pepper Schwartz to describe the supposedly inevitable diminution of sexual passion in long-term lesbian relationships. Of course. Well, gays have that too. Oh god, it's another lesbian one. Okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> English author Radcliffe Hall wrote what lesbian novel in 1928? A Long Walk in December. That's a good guess. I'm gonna say The Vagina Monologues. It's the only lesbian literature I know. It's a play though, it's not really a novel. <laughs> Nobody asked you. You uh, just did. <laughs> that's true, I did. The Well of Loneliness. That, these are really sad. These are sad. Let's be in bed them, death, or? Wells oh. of Loneliness. That's actually, Well of Loneliness is a good name for my vagina if I had one. <laughs> in the TV show Ellen, where did Ellen DeGeneres' character come out? Okay, this I know, she came out at work. I thought she came out at the airport. I think you're right. Because I remember just leaning over the mic and then I was like... Yeah, and she's like, Cheryl, I'm gay or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and yeah. Okay, let's see. In an airport. Yeah. 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 Good, good yeah. I, I should be like, Mr. K Canada. Yeah, true. Again in the TV show Ellen, to which actress did Ellen DeGeneres' character come out? Okay, I don't know that. Oh, I don't know. Who? Shelby McMaster. I'll say Jane Smith. <laughs> Laura Dern. Oh, I like Laura Dern. You we were so close. Good for Laura. Yeah, good for you, Laura. Yeah. She watches my videos. Oh, good. Hi, Laura. How many children does Rosie O'Donnell have? Okay, I feel like she has like five. I think five is how many. I'm gonna say four. Okay. Four! Oh, oh nice. my gosh. Good job. I'm kicking your butt. These are 100% about lesbians though. I know. Which is fine. <laughs> I guess, you know, it's, it's nice to learn something. And actually, lesbians I feel like are usually underrepresented. This so is 100% no. true. Yeah. I, want, I just want to acknowledge that. That is true, and I'm glad that I'm learning. Because as you know, I represent all gay Canadians. <laughs> uh -huh. How many of Rosie O'Donnell's children are adopted? Well, I think all of them. I'm gonna say three. Okay. Maybe her wife had one. Three! Oh! Okay. Her fourth was conceived by sperm donation. Right. Wow, are you like jealous of how smart I am about lesbians? Yes, but now I don't have to be because I'm learning too. And so are you. All right, well you win because you're Mr. Gay Canada. 
and I win because you're in my video. <laughs> if you knew answers to some of these, let me know below. If you didn't know any of them, let me know that too. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to have lots more gay videos coming up or regular videos, all kinds of videos. They don't have to be gay. I got gay on the brain. Some of them are countdowns of the cutest cats. That's right. It's important things you need to know. Thank you so much for being in this video, Derek. Thank you, Ryan. I had fun even though I'm now humiliated in front of the entire YouTube audience. Well, I'm just going to make you a little bit more humiliated by reminding you that my name is Josh. What did I say? <laughs> Ryan. Thank you, Josh. I said Ryan because that's your last name, Josh Ryan. That's your name. Bye. It's Rhymer. <laughs> I had a name tag on, and you still called me Ryan. Thanks, Josh. I had fun. I had fun learning with you, Josh. I had fun, too. And I'm pretty sure you won because of your body. Oh, yeah. So go do great work as Mr. Gay Canada. And thank you to the Vancouver Pride Society for having us here. Hopefully, I'll see you at some other Vancouver Pride events this year or next year at the Legacy Awards. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> it's Ryan. <laughs>